How's it going guys? It's Karan and today I'm going to be telling you how to install White Door 7 on your older Apple devices. So to download it, you need to firstly see which device you have. Now this is compatible with iPhone 2G, 3G, iPod Touch 1G and 2G. As I have the iPod Touch 2G, I'm going to click on it. Obviously. Now this is iPod Touch 2G. There's a little bit of a complication in this. As you have two boot ROMs, MB and MC. So to know which boot ROM you have, you need to go into general, then you need to go into about and you need to look at the model code and see at the first see the first two characters of the model code. It'll it'll be MB or MC. So you need to download either MB if you are if you have MB or MC. Now to download this you need to go to I have the MC so I'm going to go to installation guide. So this is the installation guide and you can see all the devices here, iPhone 2G, 3G, iPod Touch 1G and 2G. Now I have the iPod Touch 2G as I mentioned earlier. So I'm going to select the operating system. I have Windows obviously as you can see here. Now you need to download the firmware. So you just have to click download. It's very simple. And you need to download, see it's given MB, MC. So you need to download White Door 7. I have the MB, I have the MC one actually. So I have to just click on download. Your download will start right here. You have to do nothing. Just wait. Now you can see it's 270 MB and it's already downloading. But I've already downloaded it. I'm just going to cancel it. So before doing anything else now, you need to download iRib and this is at iPhoneHeat.com and I'll be having all the links in the description below as I mentioned earlier. So download iRib and uh, where is it? Yeah, it's here. iRib for Windows. I'm just going to go with Mirror 1. So, so you can see it's downloading here and 0 second. It's just 399 KB. It's not not such a huge software. It's really simple software, but it's really effective as well. You need to. I'm gonna extract it to desktop. So it's already unzipped, and you can see IREP seven here. You just open it and this is what it's going to look like. So after you open iRib, you need to click on the <coughs> which uh, iPod or iPhone you have to put it into DFU mode. As I have the iPod as usual, I'm just going to click on that. Now th this is to put it into DFU mode. So the steps are given there. So you have to hold the power plus home button for 10 seconds. Don't do anything about that. And release the power. That's all. So you just have to wait for some time. So it's up. Uh, yeah, it's done. So now you go back to iTunes. And iTunes you usually close after you put it into DFU mode. I don't know why that happens, but it does. So iTunes has decided an iPod in recovery mode. You must return, restore this iPod before it can be used with iTunes. Okay. So now to restore it, you need to click on. You need to click on uh, Shift plus Restore. So you need to hold Shift and then click Restore. Now you need to search for your White Door Seven. So it's here. So I'm just gonna do it. Open. Now that's about it. It's just gonna extract. As you're seeing here, now my iPod screen has turned white, and now the iP Apple icon has come on. <coughs> so, now it's just about completed here. Just saying, restoring iPod firmware. 
as you can see it's just restarting now this will come and it will just reboot again so don't worry about that if you just see it As you can see it looks like iOS 7 so if you just unlock that all the icons are iOS 7 and even the settings the battery percentage displayer everything's iOS 7 but it's just a look alike so when you see that it's just it's iOS 4.1.4 don't get shocked it's just a look alike it's just made to have the touch and feel of iOS 7 but not actually iOS 7 so after that you need to Restart your iTouch. Just a moment. So if you don't restart it, I'm just going to disconnect it here, if you don't restart it, you'll only get the icons of iOS 7, you won't get this background on your home screen and all. And even the, uh, this thing, the slide to unlock will be different, the clock won't un uh, move to the other side. So after you restart it, you even get this uh, uh, slide bar thing which is like really good like it's on the iOS 7 so it really makes you feel like you have iOS 7 so you know the white door people have done a really good job hats off to them so this is it guys thank you and please like this video and you can leave your uh, thoughts in the comment section below anyway guys I'll see you next time